Hello, and welcome to Elevator Pitch Series for the Radiographer. I am Michael, and this is the first video in the series on radiographic imaging. In this video, we'll be looking at the radiographic prime factors. We'll be learning what they are and their effects on a radiographic image. We'll also be talking about two of my favorite laws of all time, the reciprocity law and the inverse square law. Before diving into the prime factors, we need to first have an understanding of what radiographic exposure factors are in general. An exposure factor is any factor that is taken into consideration during the production of radiographic images. It is pretty much anything that affects the quantity and quality of radiation the patient is exposed to. Now, there are many exposure factors, pathology, distance, contrast media, and so on. However, there are three in particular that are under the direct control of the radiographer. These are known as the prime factors. To re-emphasize, the prime factors are radiographic exposure factors that are under the direct control of the radiographer. The three prime factors in radiography are the milliamperage seconds or MAS, the kilovoltage, KV, and the distance. Let us discuss these in a bit more detail. First off, the milliamperage seconds, MAS. The milliamperage seconds is a combination of two factors, the milliamperage and the time in seconds. Because these two factors have the same effect on a radiographic image, they are usually combined as one factor. The milliamperage is the amount of current that is applied to the X-ray tube. It determines how many electrons cross the tube from cathode to anode for X-ray photon production. The time is the length of time in seconds that said number of electrons cross the tube for photon production. The combination of the milliamperage and time has a very important effect on the radiographic image quality. The MAS is the primary controller of the radiographic density. X-ray photons interact with the image receptor to produce a radiographic density, or blackness. The greater the amount of photons interacting with the receptor, the greater the amount of blackening or density produced. Because the MAS controls how many electrons cross the tube to form photons, the MAS determines how many photons are produced by the X-ray tube, thus, controlling the density recorded on a radiographic image. At this point, we'll talk about the reciprocity law. It states that any combination of milliamperage and time that produces the same numerical value will produce the same degree of blackening on the image. Let's illustrate this a bit further with an example. If you have three sets of factors, 50 ma in 0.2 seconds, 100 ma in 0.1 seconds, 200 ma in 0.05 seconds. These three sets of factors will produce the same degree of blackening because they all arrive at a combined value of 10 MAS. This is the reciprocity law. It is worth mentioning that the reciprocity law will not be valid when the exposure time is too long or too short. Next, the kilovoltage. It is a measure of the speed and energy applied to the electrons in an X-ray tube. What effect does this have on a radiographic image? As electrons move from cathode to a node for X-ray photon production, the higher the speed and energy they possess, the higher the energy possessed by the X-ray photons they produce. This means that the kilovoltage determines the energy of X-ray photons, their ability to penetrate matter. In the next two videos, we learn how this affects the radiographic contrast and density. The final prime factor is distance. The distance between the X-ray tube and the image receptor, in your textbooks, it is commonly referred to as source image distance or focus film distance in older texts. The effect of distance on the radiograph is summed up in a statement known as the inverse square law. This states that, the intensity of radiation or photons at a given distance from the point source is inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the source. Think of it this way, you're in a room with just one light bulb, and you're trying to read a newspaper. You would observe that, the closer the light bulb is to the newspaper, the brighter, more intense light that shines on the newspaper. But, as distance increases between the light bulb and the paper, a lower intensity of light is observed on the newspaper. This is similar to the effect that distance has on radiographic image quality. We would be going into more detail on this in the next video. Remember when we said that exposure factors affect the quality and quantity of radiation the patient is exposed to? Let us conclude by highlighting what these are. The quantity of radiation is the amount of X-ray photons that are present in a beam. The quality, on the other hand, is the energy possessed by that amount of photons. The factors that determine the quantity of radiation are KV, MAS, distance. The quality is determined by the KV. There is another factor, it is not a prime factor, but, it affects both the quantity and quality of radiation. 
This is filtration, we learn about filtration in future. That concludes this video on the radiographic prime factors. We look forward to your questions and comments in the comments section or via email. If you love this video and would want more content, please subscribe and share with your colleagues. Until next time, do enjoy the learning process and take care.